So some time ago, we actually took a look at some tips and tricks to be more efficient around Windows. Today, we're going to extend it further. We're going to look at five intermediate tips and tricks for Windows users. You're watching yet another Random Wednesday episode on 0612 TV. Hello and welcome to Intermediate Windows Tips and Tricks. Now, most of these were actually done under Windows 7, but as far as I'm aware, in Windows 8, these should still apply. Well, we have our five tips in no particular order, so let us now jump right into the first one. First, making use of the URL bar autocomplete. Now, here's the deal. Once you get more familiar with your computer and you start to want to do things faster, you might find yourself entering paths to directories or files directly into the actual URL bar of Windows Explorer. What's nice about that particular bar is that, well, it provides you a bunch of suggestions. What you can actually do is you can actually make use of the suggestions to save the time you spend typing. You can see me doing it right now. Instead of having to type out this extremely complicated path, what I can do is I can simply type a few words, choose the correct suggestion by using the arrow keys on your keyboard, and then continuing to type. When you type, basically what you're typing gets appended to the end of whatever the suggestion is, and as a result, by just typing a few characters, you can browse to a particular directory extremely quickly. Dead simple, dead useful. Let's move on to point number two. Tip number two, opening the preview pane. So you have a folder of images and you want to go through them one by one. You can either try to zoom in the thumbnails or use an external program like Fastone Image Viewer. However, the former doesn't let you go too big, whereas the latter requires installation of external software. But in fact, there is a feature built natively into Windows that actually helps you do that. In any Explorer window, simply press Alternate P on your keyboard to bring up a preview pane. Alternatively, you can go to Organize, Layout, Preview Pane for the same effect. Tip number three, learn to split your screen. Now, when we're actually working with moving files across multiple different folders, well, we might have them all expanded and then we just alt tab between the different folders. Well, that's one way to do it, but alt tabbing can be pretty slow. And if you have a whole lot of different windows open, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to spend some time just tabbing through the lot to find a window you wanna go to. The easiest way to get started with doing split screens is to actually have your screen half and half. Now, Windows actually makes it extremely easy for you to do that. All you have to do is to drag a window and just stick it to the left side of your screen. That window will expand and fill up the left half. Then grab the other window and make it fill up the right side of the screen by dragging it to the rightmost edge. With next to no effort, you now have two screens side by side. And this is going to help you when you want to drag files from one folder to another definitely very much faster than using alt tab tip number four when you want to change the setting search for it now let's say i wanted to change the resolution of my screen yes i know i can go to my desktop i can right click and go to screen resolution but let's say i didn't know where to look for this well if you actually press start and start searching for your setting in the search bar you realize that windows throws up settings as well so by simply typing resolution, I don't even need to type in the whole word. Well, the setting is right there. For other settings that might be hidden in a control panel that you might have to spend some time searching through, this method makes getting to the setting extremely quick. You don't even have to open the control panel, you just start searching for the option. And an entry pointing you to the option should appear in a start menu. Tip number five, send to zip folder. Now, from time to time, you're actually gonna have to generate a compressed file. Normally, this is for sending to people over the internet, just, you know, to make it easy if you wanna send a large number of different files. Windows actually gives you a really easy way to do that. All you have to do is just select all the files you want in your zip folder, then simply right-click, send to, compress folder. And that will produce a zip file that basically has all the selected files inside. What this means is you don't actually have to install or open any additional software. In fact, Windows Explorer lets you do this natively. And that's it. These are your five tricks for intermediate users. Now, just as a bonus, I do have a sixth trick. This one is extremely simple. 
If you want to open something in a menu, instead of clicking once on the menu header and then clicking again to actually select the option, what you can do is you can actually click the header and keep your mouse button held down. With the button still held down, move your mouse to whichever option you wanted to click on and lift your mouse there. That can also invoke that particular operation. So, well, it's not very much of a time saver, but I guess it kind of saves you an extra click. So yeah, that actually wraps up this episode, your five plus one tricks for intermediate Windows users. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Hello, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember that I appreciate every like, favorite and comment you give me. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more updates outside of YouTube, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at 0612TV. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.